Let's take our first question coming in from the chat room. Crush Picks wants to know if you can record to card and export via the HDSD out as well. Crush Picks, thank you for watching our show. Glad, glad you could make it. Yes, absolutely. You can record to your SDHC cards and run the output all at the same time. It's a proper video camera. No, no, silly, uh, no silly interference there. All right. Listen, one of the most difficult parts of working with any camera is navigating the menu system. You know, there are often very deep, very intricate, very difficult to read. Like, you've got to close the iris up to see the white menu letters on the menu setting. Well, again, Panasonic has hooked us up here. And uh, I'm going to invite a very dear friend of mine to, to step us through some of the beautiful looking and well-placed menu features. Studio audience, please welcome Mr. Wes Carr from Panasonic Corporate. Thank you very much, welcome. Jesse. I'm glad Thank you, you buddy. I'm glad you can make awesome. It. Thank you very much. Really appreciate uh, you having us here and showing the seeing uh, this uh, this camera. And thank you guys all for for showing up. And thank you the guys in the uh, internet world for uh, for stepping Milli in. And millions and billions. Millions and billions, trillions, gil gazillions. How, how far does it go up? I, I don't know. Keeps going. It just does. Absolutely. So you know, as Jesse was saying, this, this camera really was designed you know from the ground up as a motion picture camera, uh, taking a lot of those sensibilities. So, you know, one of the things that I uh, wanted to look at, you want to look at some of the menu settings I would, and, I would and love kind of to. run through I, all of that? Just because they're so beautiful looking. They're, they are very, very beautiful looking. So, uh, so <laughs> very beautiful looking, very easy to see, which is really, really kind of nice. Before we get too, yes, too much deeper, we'd like to entertain one more question coming in from the internet. Hunter would like to know, how much does an AF100 usually cost? Well, the list price is $49.95, but talk to the friends at Midtown and they will hook you up with a killer deal. Call us up. We're, we'll, we'll hook you up. I think we're selling them at forty-seven ninety-five at the moment. We are uh, we're selling them like hotcakes. So get your order in quick. Yes, sir. All right. So um, as many people who maybe worked with the um, HPX one hundred and seventy or the HMC one hundred and fifty are familiar with, we've got our menu structure uh, basically set up up here. I'm not sure if you can see that over here. Um, so we're able to go ahead and bring it into uh, the menus right up uh, through here, and we have a little navigation toggle right here, which makes it really easy to, uh, to work with. So I'm going to have them spin the camera back around and go ahead and run those in there but, so I can see it from this side. All right, so we got the, uh, the menus up right now. And for people who've worked with our, our cameras, may have noticed that we usually have like a, a little circular scene file, uh, and that allows you to have six different looks in the camera at the same time. So what happens is instead of having a knob on the outside, we actually have those electronically in here. Those can now be saved as files. So you can go ahead, download those files, and um, go ahead and uh, save them, modify them. As a matter of fact, actually, do we have it up here? Let's cut back over. Um, in, the, in the box with the camera, comes this book from Barry Green. For those that don't know Barry Green, he is, is a fantastic guy, understands cameras, been working with us for a long, long time, does his own thing and writes, uh, has written this book. This is included in here. Included with the book is this, this um, CD or DVD. I haven't looked at it yet, but it does have scene files in here. He's got a bunch of them in there. So that's a real nice little plus. So those scene files will go directly in and you can select uh, the different scene files from the menu structure. So going back to the menus for a second, uh, we can set this up kind of film cam uh, mode or uh, into video. Uh, most people are probably going to look at this in a film cam mode, so we'll, we'll look at the, just leave it there. Uh, when you start talking about the recording rates, uh, so we have 1080 uh, at uh, 60i, 30p, 24, uh, 720, 60p, 720, 30, 24, and then also you notice that those are pH rates. Those are the highest quality, but we also have some lower quality uh, HA and HE, lower bit rates. So that allows you to do some recording. And actually, HE is down to, um, I want to say it is about 6 megabits per second, which will allow you to do something if you had to put something and push it through an FTP site pretty quickly. It's not a bad way to kind of uh, approach that. Wes, can I interrupt you for a sure. second? Sure. We want to entertain another question coming in from the chat room. Uh, Scott Favorite wants to know what's the weight on delivery? What's the weight on the, how long will it take him to order? They're about seven pounds. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, absolutely. <laughs> Com complete with the styrofoam. Um, this has been a very, very popular camera out of the gate, so 
the answer to that is, uh, is put the order in early, um, work with your, your dealer, and uh, your dealer. We've been experiencing about three weeks. Yeah. Uh, we've been experiencing about three weeks. Who, who knows where it's going to go from there. Absolutely. Another but question coming in from the internet. And what lens mounts can be used on the camera? It's written production was like to know. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you for watching. We oh. are going to get to um, lens mounts just, just immediately after this yeah, this menu presentation. Good, good question. Lots of options. Lots of options. We'll, we'll talk about that. If there's follow-up questions, um, invite Carl is Carlos. Carlos. Invite Carlos to um, go ahead and, and reply back after we talk about some of those.